Today we're going to be talking about volume seasonality. We're going to be looking at how volume behaves in the cryptocurrency markets based on the day of the week and the time of the day. You'll learn some details about how volume behaves in cryptocurrency markets and I'll show you a way to see what algorithmic traders might be up to. We'll be using data from Binance between January 1st, 2018 and October 2022. To uncover how volume tends to behave at different times, we will average the volume across all instances of a common time, such as Mondays or Tuesdays for daily data, or 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. for hourly data. However, before we can do this, we need to normalize the volume data as raw, unaltered volume is not stationary. Its behavior is not consistent across time. Here we have the raw volume for Bitcoin Tether over our test period. By looking, we can observe that the raw volume exhibits many shorter term trends and doesn't have a consistent level it hovers around. Put differently, it does not have a stationary mean value. To better illustrate this, I took the average volume of each year in the test set and plotted it. Since we're seeking to average volume readings at different times to extract its seasonal behavior, we have to transform the raw volume to induce some stationarity. To do this, I take a rolling median of the volume. For daily data, I chose a rolling period of 30 days. This decision is arbitrary, but 30 days, about a month, is reasonable. I divide the raw volume by the rolling median and take the natural logarithm of that quotient. Once this is done, here is the result, the normalized volume. We can see that the transform series tends to hover around zero and is fairly consistent throughout time. Now if we again take the average of each year, they are very similar. Looking at the histogram of our transform series, we can see that the distribution has a nice bell shape. I should mention that this new series is not perfectly stationary in a statistical sense, but it's good enough for our purposes. This is our normalized volume average by the day of the week. The main feature here is that the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, have a significant drop off, a consistently lower level, and the weekdays have a consistent level, but are much higher than the weekends. Now we're gonna look at how volume behaves given the time of the day. All of the times I'll give will be in UTC, Coordinated Universal Time, also known as GMT or Zulu Time, Military Time. Here's the full view of our normalized volume series for the hourly time series. For this, I used a rolling median period of 168 hours, which is one week. That is to cancel out the weekend effect that we just saw in the daily analysis. The hourly normalized still has that nice bell-shaped distribution. And here is the average normalized volume for each hour of the day. There's a couple notable things here. First, there's some peak hours, roughly from hour 12 to hour 16, noon to 4 o'clock in UTC. And a little bit of wider range for peak hours would be from hour 8 to eh, hour 17. This section of the day is when the market tends to be the most active. There is the most volume going through it. Another interesting feature is the first hour of the day has a spike. This is important and we'll see more of that soon. Because we just saw that weekends tend to have lower volume than weekdays, I did the same hourly study but separated weekdays from weekends to see if the peak hours differ. And when they're plotted against each other, we can see that the same peak hours hold throughout the weekends, but the weekend levels are of course lower. To visualize this differently, here's a heat map, mapping every hour of the day with every weekday. I was curious to see if the peak hours held up throughout the entire data set, so I redid the same seasonality averaging but for each year in the data set. And as you can see, 2018 through 2022, that same shape holds. Each year has that first hour spike and the peak hours are pretty much the same. I also did the same thing with KuCoin's Bitcoin Tether pair to see if the peak hours held across exchanges. And as you can see, they do, they roughly have the same shape. And I also did the same seasonality averaging for a few different common cryptocurrency pairs. And as you can see, they all have roughly the same peak hours and same kind of shape. So these peak hours appear to be a market-wide phenomenon, not just for Bitcoin. Now we're going to look at minute data. The rolling median period I used for minute data was one week in minutes, 24 times 60 times 7. I don't know what that is. You can do the math. So here's our normalized volume for each minute of an hour. And as you can see that on average, the first minute has the most volume compared to any other minute. And if we look a little closer, we can see there's a slightly less prominent spike at each 15 minute interval. And if we look even closer, we can see that there's a smaller spike at each five minute interval. Here's the volume average for each minute of the day. There's 1,440 minutes in a day. We can see that uh, beginning of the day spike we saw in the hourly data and look a little closer. We can see a large amount of activity that takes place in the first few minutes of the day. 
here's the volume for each minute of the day with each hour marked as you can see that the beginning of each hour has a spike and relatively higher volume compared to neighboring minutes here's the same thing but with each 15 minutes marked and as you can see at the beginning of each 15 minute period the volume tends to be higher than neighboring minutes and it's fairly consistent throughout the day. We have found three tendencies of volume. One, there's more volume on weekdays than weekends, the weekend effect. Two, there are peak hours of the day where the market has more volume. And three, the first minute of common time frames tends to have higher volume. Let's talk about each of these. The weekend effect shows a tendency for lower volume on the weekdays. I believe this difference shows the footprint of institutional activity. Professional entities would reasonably take the weekends off. I think further study of price behavior beyond volume on weekends versus weekdays may yield interesting results. Perhaps we'll make another video looking into this. Comment if you're interested. The cryptocurrency market tends to have higher volume between 12 and 16 UTC. This suggests more traders tend to be awake and active during these times. Roughly speaking, these hours tend to fall in the morning for the US the afternoon for Europe, and the evening for Asia. At least for volume, the market tends to behave differently during these times. In my opinion, our most interesting finding is the higher average volume in the first minute of common time frames, such as one day, one hour, 15 minutes, and five minutes. I have a theory about why we see this. I've been developing trading systems for a number of years, and I know that it is common practice for trading systems to decide their action at the close of each bar. After the bar is closed, a trading algorithm does whatever analysis it does, and it might place an order. If this order is a market order, it will execute right away, and the volume associated with that order will add to the next minute's volume. This would explain the high volume we see in the first minute of common time frames. And this theory seems reasonable to me, and frankly, I'm convinced it's true. If you have an alternative theory to explain the high volume in the first minute, please leave it in the comments below. I'd like to hear it. So assuming this theory is true, if you look at the first minute of a common time frame and see a spike in volume, you know that it's likely a large percentage of that volume is from trading algorithms. And if that first minute's bar had a strong direction, you can get an idea of the consensus opinion of the trading algorithms at that current time. Alright, that's all I have for volume seasonality. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the like button, comment. Bye.